alaikum. I'm Miss Hamra. I'm Miss Hamra. We are from Tajuddin School here to present our art lesson today. Today we'll be doing lots of different art activities with you all. I hope you all enjoy our activities. In today's lesson, we'll focus on stencil or cutout art, relaxing video, embossing, foot art, painting, shadow drawing, and portrait drawing. First, how about we will continue with the activities and then I will join you. Hi students, now you all are waiting for today's activities. So are you all ready to be creative? Let's see today's first activity. Today at first we are going to learn how to make a stencil. It's going to be very easy. What you will need is A4 paper, hard paper, pencils, markers or sharpies, and a scissor. You all can use the hard A4 paper to make the stencil. What you have to do is take the hard A4 paper, fold it in half, just like this. Put the cloth side of the paper towards you. Now take a pencil or marker and draw a semicircle on the center of the paper. Now it's going to be the scissor time. Now you all can cut the semicircle. Here it's done. Before I open the paper, can you all guess which shape it's going to be? What did you say? A circle? Hmm, might be. Let's open it. Yes, it's a circle. Good guess, students. It's a circle shaped stencil. Now you can use this stencil to make the circle shape on the paper. Put the stencil on the A4 paper or in art paper. Take the colors and color it. When you color, colors might go over the stencil. And beneath of the paper. Here it's done. It's very simple and easy. Do you know using this stencil we can make abstract art too. You can draw the circles over and over again and use different colors to color different parts. Here again abstract art is done. If you want you can fill up the paper with many circles you like and you can color it. Do you all know advantage of using a stencil is that we can have same design same shape over and over again. Now our first activity is done. Before we move on to our second activity let's relax our mind by watching a small video. Have a look. Did you like the video? 
I loved it. I hope you all enjoyed it too. So, let's move on to our second activity. Our second activity is embossing. Students, what is embossing? Embossing is producing raised patterns. Now, let's see what are the materials needed for this activity. Foil, hard A4 paper, tissue, coins, markers or sharpies, cut out of an object, scissors. First take the hard paper, put the coins on the paper, place the foil on the top of the coins. Remember to put the dull side down, shiny side up. So, you can see the patterns nicely. Now, use your finger or a tissue paper to break the patterns. See, here it's done. Now, you can see one of your points on the foil. Students, do you all know there are other ways that we can do embossing? For example, using a flower or cut out of an object, we can do embossing. You can follow the same step as I did before. Here, embossing is done for the flower. Now you can use the Sharpie or markers to color the flower. Here's another easy way to do embossing. Use a towel or something soft, place it on a hard surface area, take the foil and place it on top of it. Now you can draw a design on any object that you like. Remember to use a dull pencil. If you use a sharp pencil, you might rip the paper. I am going to draw a leaf later. I will color it and I will display it on the board. It's time to make the crab. Here, my snack is ready. Now I'm going to share it with some rabbits. Some rabbits. Would you like to have some? Oh, yummy. That looks really nice, Habamis. Can I have one? Please. Thank okay. you. Here are some other ideas that you can try later. Here 
I'm using some green and then I'm going to add some blue. You can put all your favorite colors. It will make a beautiful artwork. So once you get all your paint, you can get your parents' help and then cover the painting with clean paper. This way your hands won't get messy and I am sure your parents will be happy about that. Just cover the paint and then now you can go all crazy on your colors. Just squeeze it and push it any way you want. Mix it up. And then time to remove it. Ta-da! It's nice, right? Okay. So I'll just leave it out to dry and then after that I'll tell you what we can do with this piece of paper. So now our painting is dry. You can use this painting to make a lot of different things. So first I'm going to show you how to make our beautiful card out of it. You can cut along the paint lines or you can use it as a rectangular card. I like the irregular shapes so I am going to cut it up. So once you finish cutting you can fold it up and make it into a card. So just write a message and then if your parents can deliver the card, they can take it to your friend. Or once you go back to school, you can give it to your friend. See? It's a beautiful card, right? Okay. So you can even use the colored paper and make um, different imaginary objects. So keep looking at the uh, painting and then you can see different pictures like here I can see a person nice right and this one I can turn it into an airplane so like that you can keep on finding different imaginary pictures. Alright. Our next activity is shadow drawing. For this activity you can choose any of your favorite toys, your paper and the toy. So as adults even we sometimes play with the shadows, right? So this we can use to get our children to draw. So arrange the toys in any way you like and then use the torch to create the shadow. You can adjust the angles any way you like and or you can even go out into the terrace and do this activity out in the open air. So now once I adjust the shadows, all you have to do is outline it. This you can do with any of the toys you like. Once you finish, we'll have an interesting outline of an object. Right. So here my shadow drawing is done. Once you finish the shadow drawing, again you can use the same shadow drawing and then color it and make it more colorful. You can even use different colors. Or you can turn the shadow into another image. Ooh, here's an angry ghost. This one, what do you think we can change this one into? 
think a little and I want you to do it on your own, okay? Another fun way to get your child to be involved in drawing is face painting or drawing a portrait of a friend. You can use a piece of cellophane and markers. So here I'm going to call Havamis again to help me out, okay? Havamis, would you help me with this activity? So I want you to hold the cellophane paper over your face and then take the markers and then you can draw her face. So here you can use any kind of a marker and then make a funny face or you can even try to get the actual shape of your friend's or parent's face. Let's see how many the red lips, right? some tips for our young learners. I'm going to show you some of the ways we can help our young learners develop their fine motor skills even in art activities. So when painting for their grip you can roll up a small towel and then roll it around the paintbrush and then get them to hold it. This way it will be easier for them to hold and then they can just use it like the pencil or with the pencil grip or even they can use it. started with painting we can even use sponge fingers. You just have to cut up a piece of sponge and then tie it around your fingers. Agonis would you please help me with this? So this would be a fun way to get your children to play with paint and then in the process they will be using lots of finger movement which will help them develop their fine motor skills. So now all you have to do is dip your sponges into the paint you need and then again go crazy on the paper. So this will be another fun way to get your children to play with paint and then develop their fine motor skills. We can use a tray to help young learners to identify the page boundaries. Once they get used with the page boundaries, you can draw any shape using the glue. So this will help them to identify the trace pattern on the paper. This will help them to color inside the object. These are very simple tips that we can use for our young learners. Wow, Havamis, today we did a lot of artwork, right? I really love this sunflower that you did. I love my portrait you did. It is really nice. I'm sure all your teachers will be waiting for all your artworks. We'll be waiting to see your artwork. Remember to take a picture and send it to your class groups. Bye! Bye.